Today we have World of Fishing. This is an MMO that has you go around and exploring popular fishing locations around the world. The game has a large variety of different fish and sharks and starfish and cuttlefish and squid like that that you can catch. And each species that you can catch is unique to the locations. This is the underwater cam that you get. You get so many of these uh, when you start the game and then you have to buy more as you go on. What it lets you do is look underneath the water and see what species of fish and different life are in this area. The game lets you customize your avatar and fishing gear. The downside is that this customization is pretty limited. The fishing itself is very simple. It doesn't require much more than changing your bait to get different types of fish. Taking that this is supposed to be a fishing sim, it's kind of sad to see that. When you cast and send your bait out, you just wait for a few moments till the sea god sends you a fish. If you have experienced fishing and understand it at all. This is kind of just a poor mechanic, taking that your bait's just sitting there, not doing anything at all. And after a uh, short while, a fish will automatically just come bite it. Once you actually get a fish on the hook, the game becomes this battle between you and whatever you whatever you caught. And what you need to do is you need to keep tension on your line to wear out whatever your catch is and to reel it in. But if you get too much tension on the line, the line will snap, and if you have too little, it can get away. You can also stun the fish by violently jerking your pole. Your character has three stats that you can spec into. These stats are your strength, stamina, and concentration. They affect your ability, reel in a fish, and how far you can cast, and things like that. The ecstatic customization of your character is pretty limited. You get very few face types and body types that you can select through, and you got some clothes that you can put on just to add a touch more, but this is all just limited to what you can buy in the store. You'll see on the left hand side that you'll see some names of different people and it'll say when they're fishing and when they're casting and such. These are the other people in the lobby with me and you can go into individual fishing lobbies like I am right now or you can go into team matches and work with uh, teammates against other players to catch different types of fish. You can select different gear when you level up uh, to help you get larger fish and some sharks. This gear is like fishing poles, fishing reels, um, some stronger line, different types of bait. When you're fishing, you can use a underwater cam that lets you see when, you're fit, when your bait's out there and you can look around. The only downside is that taking that you can't really use your jig or bait certain types of fish to come in, you just kind of just get to see what's under the water and that's about it. There's not much that this actually does for you. Where the fish are located is uh, set up fairly realistically. You know, you can catch things like starfish when you're closer to the dock, and when you get into the deeper water, you can catch larger fish like sharks and uh, swordfish and things like that. This game by far is not a masterpiece of graphic design. It looks like it came from like an N64 or a PlayStation. The models tend to pass through each other 
and the textures aren't very detailed. Another odd thing is like your avatar stands at the end of your boat and no one's actually driving it when you're going around on the water. It's just you standing at the front of your boat in a ready position with your pole. It doesn't really make much sense. I don't get why they didn't make, at least make your guy be able to go back there to drive. Music, it has this like really funny jazzy retro uh, soundtrack that goes around with it and it's pretty cool at first but it's a very short loop so it gets kind of old. This game isn't a hardcore fishing sim so if you're looking for that this is not it. This game doesn't really excel in any aspect. It just feels like an outdated game with an online feature. The mechanics of the game feel really outdated. And unless you're looking for like a late 90s sim game, I'd say you want to give this one a pass.